So now what I want to talk about is inheritance, inheritance inside of a class. So a lot of times what you'll see is classes using other classes to make their classes more valuable. Um, so what that means is, let's say for instance, I want to call this sweet, sweet basil and I have color here, but let's actually set up color. So I'll say color equals two and we'll add green, right? So we're adding a new thing in here, but we'll say string and I'll just say, I'll declare a variable up here, color string. Um, now we have some conflicts here. So I'll say get color versus color. And we'll just change that as our method. Um, notice that we're getting some more errors here and I'm gonna add color for world, I'll say green. And for basil, I'll say like bright green. Okay, so we've got two colors, two different colors and two different ways of getting them. Notice I just changed this because color is gonna be a parameter um, of this class. So I'll show you what this means right now. So we'll just say color equals to color. So what's going on here? Um, I'll just say start color or basically initial color is equal to that. So that should clarify it a little bit, but it doesn't. So it should say this.color. So this is remaining to the actual class itself and we're actually able to set color that way. So now if I do basil.color, um, it's actually gonna return that color. So I would actually have to console log that color. So we save that and I refresh in here. Oh, it's not running. So make sure we run TSC watch. And of course we wanna run our HTTP server as well. We run refresh and I see bright green coming through here. And that's because of that. Again, we can look at all this stuff and look at main.js and we see what has been compiled. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these other folders because we actually don't need them anymore. Those were just an example a little while ago. Uh, but main.ts is, is showing us a little bit more as to what sort of thing is kind of happening. It's not giving us a whole lot here, but it is working in, in, a, in a good sense. Okay, so now that we've got this, let's go ahead and do some template inheritance. Um, and what I'm gonna do is come down here and I'll say class basil, and we'll say extends sweet, sweet basil. Okay, so it's extending that class. So it's actually inheriting this class and, and just making a new class for us. And of course, I have to have a constructor because every class has to have an instructor, a constructor. And then in here, I just add this stuff in. Notice that I can't just leave an empty constructor here. I actually have to run the super class on this as well. So really simply, I just run super. Super, hmm, doesn't seem to be working. Now, the reason it's not working is because we actually are calling the super class. That means that we're calling sweet, sweet basil's constructor. So that means that I have to add in uh, a name in here of some sort of string, and then also a start color of some sort of start color. So that means that I should probably add name, string, and start color. I have a string here. So then that way I can actually run this constructor itself. So we'll do let basil three equal to new basil. And again, the same sort of constructor and I'll say basil. And then we come in here and our start color is gonna be bright green. Another way to spell bright. Okay, so this is basil and that's what it's doing. So if I did basil three dot get color, what do you think is gonna happen? I'm gonna go ahead and comment these out with command slash um, that will comment them out, so we only have one running. But what should happen here? Well, if I go back into um, my actual server running, it runs green. It also runs hello world, hello basil, and hello basil. Well, those other ones are running because of this, so let's go ahead and just comment those out. We save that, we refresh, and it says hello basil and green. Of course, it's saying hello basil because of the 
the parent class that it's using. So it's extending this parent class and it's working. But I can also write another method in here. So let's say for instance, set new color and we'll just say color uh, is gonna be passed in here and I'll do a string and we'll just say this.color equals to color. So this.color as in the instance color is equal to the past color. So again, new color, I could say it like this just to make it even more clear. And now what I wanna do is update my git color to being console log instead of just green, but this.color. So again, it's referencing the class instance um, and it's unique to the actual instance, which is created here. So now what I wanna do is say basil three and we'll do set new color and the new color will be red. Okay, give us some space here. And then we should all have git color run twice. What do you think the first one's gonna say and what's gonna, the second one gonna say? We refresh in here. We've got bright green and then red. So now let's bring back world and I'll try and run world.set new color of dark green. Notice the error, right? So that's because the Bazel class is inheriting everything from the sweet Bazel class, but the sweet Bazel class does not have anything from the Bazel class, and that's why we get this error. Okay, cool. So that's it for classes with inheritance. Um, of course, there's other kinds of methods that you can do here. And you also don't necessarily have to use the constructor to set things, right? So like, uh, well, in this case, we have to because our, our parent class has it. But in other cases, so let's say, for instance, I got rid of this, right? Um, then I would have to console or get rid of a few things here. But then in my super class, I would just call super and that calls the super class itself. But you can also do super dot uh, get color, right? Well, you in the constructor, you would do super class still, but let's say set new color, we would call super dot get color, which would console log whatever that color is, um, right? So, so this should actually work just fine in many cases, right? But but it's, I mean, there's, there's some other things that we'd actually wanna add in here, which is uh, we wanna add name and start color. So I'll say name is a string, right? So notice the constructor, I don't have it in here anymore. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna say this.name equals to name and this.color equals to start color. Okay, we'll save it. Notice there's no errors. What if I change this, the ordering of super call? There are errors, okay? So I actually have to call super to be able to get these parameters and I need to do it beforehand. Now, of course, if the parameters were here and let's say string and I put this up one, it is running an error still because it's saying this, it's saying from the derived class. So I'll just say name this or name new. So this dot name new, it's still saying that I have to actually call the constructor um, so you, when you inherit, you always want to call super and it's probably best to do it first. That's the point there. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's do super.getColor. Um, all of the other things should be working just fine. I'm gonna get, get rid of new name. So this definitely should work. We come back into Chrome and we've got all of this stuff coming. It's saying red uh, because we do the constructor of bright green. So get color is called first, right? But we're actually setting the color um, right here. And that's where it's setting the color first, bright green, and then red and red. Uh, and red and red is coming twice because we actually call get color when we set the new color. Uh, and then we also call get color. So hopefully that's starting to make a lot more sense here. Notice that this is running an error now because we actually don't set anything. So I go ahead and comment those two out as well. Refresh in here, it's working again. We look back at main.js, look at the code. I mean, if you wanna try and memorize this, go for it versus this, this is a lot more simple. Definitely a lot more achievable. Um, and that's, that's it for classes. If you have any questions on what we did here, um, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.